New tonight, the Boy Scout slogan is be prepared. And that lesson became very important during a trip to South Korea. High temperatures and a looming typhoon changed plans for more than 40,000 scouts. KCCI's Kayla James talked to a father and son from Iowa who have turned their travel troubles into something positive. Kayla? Yeah, Stacy, 40,000 scouts flew to South Korea for the Jamboree, and now an Oskaloosa father and son are turning the volunteer trip into an unplanned vacation. We were seeing temperatures up to 100 degrees with 90 some percent humidity. During the day and by night, as they settle in their tents, Jamie Leonard from Oskaloosa says it would still be in the low 90s. When you've got over 43,000 people collected together in that kind of a heat, it gets overwhelming. Jamie and his son William, who aged out of the Boy Scouts, arrived on July 30th as volunteers for the Jamboree. And it's normally a two week long festival of sharing culture. But this year's looks different due to weather. Groups like the United Kingdom and the U.S. were talking about what are their options if conditions didn't improve. And on August 5th, Jamie says an email was sent saying the Boy Scouts of America was going to pull out their scouts from the Jamboree site. Another good decision, the father and son duo say, came shortly after. I think they decided to um, go ahead and end the Jamboree early because of the typhoon. Keeping everyone safe. Some people chose to get earlier flights home, but others, like the Leonard's, took a different path. We're actually getting a little bit of a blessing out of this. In the form of a vacation. We kind of just like to walk and just kind of let the walking decide what we see. Jamie and William are staying further north from where the typhoon is expected to hit, taking pictures and making memories along the way. My wife is always saying you can, you know, you can, you can choose whether you're having a good time or not. So we're choosing to have a good time. And the Boy Scouts of America did share a statement firmly stating that safety was the reason for the change. William tells me he's also grateful for the Mid-Iowa Council chapter of the BSA who has reached out to them asking if they need anything. Stacy.